Hey, welcome back to the Dirty Knobs podcast. I say welcome back because I have to apologize. We did miss one episode. You know, our schedules got busy and, you know, we're prepping for Dirty Fest. So a lot of stuff going on and we missed it. We missed an episode. So I apologize. And when I say we, it's me, your host, Hollywood Mike Miranda. My co-hosts are, as always, JV James Vicente and EC Eric Carter. And on this episode, I finally get to ask some questions. So uh, tune in, uh, make sure you stick around for the outtakes at the end. There's some doozies. Um, we will have uh, a new Ultramax commercial and we want to welcome a couple of new sponsors. Uh, Crit Plate, our buddy Mike Rodriguez, the king of Rhode Island. Crit Plate and uh, Bike Creations by Darcy. That's right, our pal Mark Darcy, who is, uh, man, if you need a top-notch show-winning build on a bike, a restoration, you need help with any of that, reach out to Mark Darcy at Bike Creations by Darcy. Thank you, and listen, enjoy the show. Thanks for supporting us, you bunch of dirty knobs. I know. <laughs> I feel like... Uh... <laughs> I, you know what it feels like it's uh a rash guard this is like a, a no this is a like a branded moving blanket <laughs> you have armor like it, it uh, knives if, can't pierce that no can, like if you wash that and then beat it on some rocks <laughs> the rocks will break you'll break rocks you'll break a few rocks while you're starting off i'll give you that you gotta you gotta break some rocks yeah this is uh this is what i when I'm when I re I refurbish all of my old school BMX frames, this is what I'm gonna use to take the rust off. Yeah, dude, I'll give you a dollar if you go like this. Oh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> you'll, you'll be, you'll be, your nips, your nips will be bleeding. Look at it's like. <laughs> yeah, we have them. Yeah, I know. Dude, the other morning I dropped mine and broke it. <laughs> when i, I have to in, ship it it's like extra weight yeah i fell and broke my t-shirt <laughs> they're pretty gnarly it really is like taking a moving blanket and, and cutting three holes in. <laughs> and, I, and the and the, the cut oh yeah it's completely square it's, it's absolutely uh, yeah. yeah it's like for a giant lego person <laughs> Dude, these are like uh I felt lighter serapes. <laughs> so it's a moving blanket. Can oh. so we have an ad for that? Can we make that an ad or something? Yeah. Oh man, it's heavy. I guess Old it's Max heavyweight. Max is going to start selling moving blankets. That's and what we're going to sell. It comes with two band aids. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, oh, hey, fe hey, fellas. <laughs> oh man, so good. That's how you kick it off. Who we got it. You gotta hit record now. Oh. Are we recording? Oh, we're recording. Oh yeah, we're recording. Yeah. Oh. We were just going to AEC before we get going here. We were just talking about all the questions we're getting for Dirty Fest. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey. I keep I keep getting and listen, I have a 26 inch cruiser. Can I race it in cruiser class? Yeah. Can I race it in the 24 to 28 inch cruiser class? Yeah. Right? Yeah. All yeah, this stuff. Good. Hey, my bike was made in 1978. Can I race it in the 1978 class? I'll tell I'll tell I'll tell you one thing. So right now out at Vale is our really, really busy time. Right. So I'm yeah. literally like like we are we are I think we're six weekends in a row. And we're seven out of eight weekends, we have a race. So it's Team Big Bear. Wow. Our, our local SoCal, which used to be Nike League. We got a UCI race, Ty Katie's holding. But dude, I get people all the time coming up to me. Hey, uh, parents of kids that are racing. Hey, where's the, uh, where's the Dirty Fest track at? Wow. A lot. Where do you a think they're hearing people, about this EC? Like, how do yeah, they know? I don't know. A lot of people. I think they're just old school BMXers. I oh, think so. I send them. I, I point them right up to the valley. I'm like, hey, it's right up there. You can go check it out right now. I think they're reading about it in the women's restroom. That's what they are. 
exactly. It, it's written down in the portage on it's scratched into the portage on <laughs> for, for a good time. <laughs> for, a good, for a good time, go to Dirty Fest. Exactly. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's a sticker. Yes, definitely a sticker for, for a good Actually, time. what we need to do a I'll, bumper sticker. I'll take a sharpie and I'll go write it on a bathroom wall and take a picture of it. And then we make that into a that's sticker. That's cool. Yeah, that's great. That's cool. <laughs> For a good time, go to Dirty Fest. Yeah, exactly. My goodness. Oh, uh, hey, listen. I think uh, you know. Last time we had JV ask some questions. Hey man, yeah. I got I got some questions. Oh, I got no questions. Imagine what? that. What? Imagine what? that. No, what? Hey, get out. That's none. impossible. Impossible. What? Did your spreadsheet didn't get finished <laughs> on time, dude? Yeah, my I, I was working on it on my spreadsheet, and uh, yeah, I was. I was programming and <laughs> uploading a bunch of the latest apps. This part of your and PowerPoint presentation? My, yeah, my PowerPoint, man. It was crazy. The, <laughs> I was PowerPointing. I was pointing at it. And, dude, it was just. There was, was no crazy. power. There was yeah, no power. I lost all the power on the point, man. And it just didn't happen. So, uh, yeah, so oh, I got oh no questions. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you see. Oh man, that's so good. Here I am. Here you are. <laughs> uh, oh. Hey, we, in the past, we've talked about riders, rivalries. We've talked about the worst bike parts. We've talked the best bike parts. But you know, one thing we haven't talked about is magazines. Mm. Mm. Oh, the double. Mm. The double. Mm. Yeah, yeah we, we have not talked about magazines. And you know, I know that there was more, more than one BMX magazine. Actually, yeah. There's probably more than I don't even know about. It. Yeah. But uh, I, I was just thinking to myself, when I go back and I think of like, what ads did I like the most? What ads maybe influenced me or what ads do I thought were, were the coolest? And, uh, or what bike did I see in an ad that I thought was the greatest? And uh, I wanted to start there with that question first. Was there, a, were in the magazines, well, first of all, did you guys, either one of you, have a favorite magazine? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, what is it? Mine's, mine's BMX Action, of Yeah, course. Action. Action. I, mean, was, I, I don't see, I, I mean, some may say different. I don't see how. <laughs> but. Um, well, well, then let me all right, let's talk. Let's 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 throw the the magazines out there, right? There, w let's throw them out first. Yeah, yeah yes. what do we got? Action. Yep. Plus. Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 wait. There was there was BMX action. Yeah, yeah, BMX there action. Was, there was bicycle motocross action. Ah. There was, you know, you could consider go. Same, you, same. Yep. Later, though. Yeah. Later, right? Mini yep. mini cycle and BMX action. Yeah, that's, that's before your time, JV. There was a Shit. magazine. It was called. It that was in the mid early to mid seventies called the mini oh. cycle BMX action. Wow, there was yeah, and, all black uh, and white photos. And there was a uh, there was a super BMX. Okay, and what else you got? There was a Action Now, which was a lifestyle magazine. Shit. Do you remember that Hollywood? Of course, Action Wow, we called it. Oh, wow, yeah. I don't even know that. Yeah, Action Now it was great. I, hey, put put out by Trans World. Sh uh, shout out to uh, Brad Fanshawe and Denny Griffiths, Bicycles and Dirt. I was gonna say Bicycles and Dirt. That was yep. another one. Yep. Uh, B Cross magazine in France. Absolutely. Yeah, I used to love that one. Uh, I'm sure that what well, uh, what was the one in 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 the UK had one had a big one. It was I didn't, uh, know, I didn't know that one. Yeah, I think it was called I think it was called BMX Weekly. I mean, I think it came out pretty often. Well, and then there was the newspapers, right? Yeah. Bicycles Today. Yeah. He didn't think I'd know that, huh? Being a, a <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you'd get that one for sure. Yeah, bicycles. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, That's right. Plus, plus the ABA paper. Yeah, the BMXer. Oh, did, did MBA have a have a deal? Sure, I had a newspaper too. Did they? MBA? Yeah, and you I can don't see. Remember. Yeah, you can see everybody's points in the back. Yeah, yeah. I don't, but I don't so remember. Kind of the same. 
it, no, no, exactly the same. It was yeah. exactly the same. You yeah. know, you'd, you'd, it would come to your house and you would, you would look at the cover and then the very first thing you did, you didn't even look at the pictures. Look at the points. You went straight to the points to, and you look and you look for your name. You look for your name. You look at the points. Amazing. That's right. <laughs> isn't isn't it amazing that we waited a month to see yeah. how many points we had accumulated and what place we were in? No, you're, you're I know your mom probably had it all calculated. Oh, oh my dad. Man. She already knew. Yeah. My dad had it. My dad did all the he had dude. Yep. I mean, my mom still gives me papers that she finds going through boxes of my dad, his writing with names and points and places, all Brother, kinds of shit, dude. It's, awesome. it's crazy. JV, he's got, his dad had spreadsheets, but yes. that nut did not fall down into this, <laughs> yeah, that's just, it, it ended right there. It ended it's, right here. No, it's just, it's, you know, like some of those, there's some of those trees that it takes, like you put the seed in the ground and sometimes it takes like 12 years for the tree to sprout yeah it's in there yeah it's, it's in there it's 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 gonna come out it's gonna yeah, it's, it's gonna take it's taking time it's, it's germinating exactly. yeah, germinating germinating, germinating. Yeah. love that i'm talking about well it, okay so uh i know that ec said bmx action is the 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 one jv would you what would you say would you have any other i bmx action i think was the the one that you knew was you know, I, I mean, to me, to me, that was the one that was the big one. The, yeah, the, you know, the one that you, you didn't just look at the pictures. You kind of like knew that it was a real deal. I think it was the most, I think it was the most influential on the sport at right. the time when it was really growing at its fastest rate. Yeah. You know, it may surprise you guys. It did not have the largest circulation. No, it didn't. I know that. I, yeah. I remember hearing that and being yeah. very surprised. Yeah. What was the biggest? What was the biggest? BMX Plus. Because Plus. It, was part, it was part of high torque publications, uh, which is included a lot of other magazines. They had better and, distribution. Right. And then so you would see those in all the grocery stores. Right. You know, and, right. And everywhere else. Right. But I tell you what, I love BMX Action. I used to. I'm sure you guys did the same thing. Which you know, you knew about what day it would hit the store. Yeah, gotta Man, I'd get be, it. I'd, I'd be there waiting for that truck to to come by and deliver yeah. it to Seven Eleven. So, yes. which which bicycle companies sponsored? Which did they heavy up on on action or plus more? Oh, both, both, yeah, but it's equal equally. Yeah, yeah, the big ones did. All the big yeah. ones did. They all it, it was equally. But yeah. I think that again, if you if you were gonna pick one, you were you would pick action. Yeah. Not because of distribution, but like you said, because of the influence. Yeah. And there you... was so going to my first question. Okay. <laughs> the ad with a bicycle that the bicycle ad that influenced me the most. The it had a picture of a bicycle, and it was like that to me was the dream bike to get. That's what I mowed lawns i cleaned you know i cleaned the back of the bike shop out of i did whatever i could to get this bike it was a picture and, and i'll post it up here so everyone can see it it's a mongoose ad with john george holding up the team mongoose bike. above his head yeah um, i remember that ad yeah to me it was so memorable and it was like it was the first time it showed a bike like that you got the close-up of all the parts yeah and and even though you know John George may have been at that point was may not have been the most popular rider. Mm. That was the most popular bike. Yeah. And so I saved my nickels, dimes and mowed lawns and did everything to get it, to get that bike. It was badass. I mean, Mongo it was my first real BMX bike was the Mongoose too. I mean, it was, I just remember the whole thing, the logo, the BMX uniforms you would see in the magazine. It was just so, it was so cool. Yeah, that was <laughs> It really the whole was. thing was so cool. <laughs> yep, I know. I was the helmet, the helmet with the fucking mongoose. Yeah, yep, the stripe in the mongoose. Oh yeah, one. right yep. on the yep. side. Yeah. The Bill Walters leathers. Oh, the, yeah, that's right. The B, that's yep. right. The BW yep. leathers, and they had the red and blue Vans tennis shoes. Everyone so had cool. the same tennis yeah. shoes. Yeah, yeah, that was, those are good, man. Oh. That's definitely good. That ad, that ad did it for me. That I, and that was one. It was a two pager. And I had it tacked up on my wall in my bedroom. 
Yeah, that was that was it. How about you? Do you guys have a memorable bike ad that, that sticks with you or influenced you at all, like that? I remember the, in that the bike was the bike was blue. Yeah, and I, can, I can picture it in my silver uh, aluminum rim, seven B array of seven Bs. While you guys are thinking, I'll tell you about this. I got the bike. I got it. I mean, I worked hard and I yeah. got that bike. The first time I first time I rode it was fantastic. Then I took it to the track and I bent the rear wheel. I bent, <laughs> I bent, I bent the seat post. It had aluminum <laughs> fluted seat post. It had it had and I, you know, in a matter of weeks, I, I had broken the aluminum handlebars. Because it was I just I jumped it like I jumped it. Yeah. You know? Mijo. You're no good. <laughs> you're no good. You know. I caramba, mijo, man. You're, co- you're costing me too much money. <laughs> I think. No. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm drawing a blank on some of the. Ad- I never really had a an ad that like I was that drove me to wish for a bike. I I more like was drawn to like teams. Yeah, yeah. So so, so I'm thinking the same thing. So it didn't influence you, but what's the ad that probably like jumps at you? That you remember. I remember that I remember the ad with uh with Greg Hill and uh Jeff Schofield. It was a GT ad. And I think Jeff was sitting on the ground and uh Greg was sitting on his bike. I think it said Greg, Jeff, and GT, something like that. Yeah, like, all number ones. All number ones or something yeah. like that. I, I think- always liked Greg Hill's bike. He had a he had a GT that had a different color. This different color set of forks. I think he ran a. It was like a chrome frame and blue forks and blue forks. And I always mm. and I don't know why, but I thought I always thought that was so cool. I and I'm sure it was probably like, oh, we're out of chrome ones. <laughs> Here's a set of blue ones. <laughs> but knowing what I know now, yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> but we're, but we're out of chrome. Uh, yeah. We're all out of chrome, Greg. Oh, I've got some blue ones back here. Oh, those on there. Yeah, we're, we're we're running low on chrome. We're gonna sell the chrome at full pop. The blue ones were cheaper, so they give you the blue ones. Exactly. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, I remember I I remember that ad. Um, what other ads, man? You know Jimmy? what comes to me? Huffy. 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 The Huffy ad, with Pyant on it, and who the frick was uh and. Was Matt on there? Yep. They all wow. three of them, all three of them kind of like coming at you. Yeah. In yeah. 3D. I remember that ad too. Uh, it just shocks me though. JV, I gotta be honest with you. I just I don't know me. why I just remember it. I remember an ad that I that I because I never knew about I like you know, I grew up in Southern California and I remember an ad. And they always made me curious about how fast the riders were in Florida. And it was a thruster ad. Whoa. With a guy named Jamie Burroughs. You remember that? Yeah. And it struck, because I'd never heard of the guy, right? I'd never even heard of the brand. And I'm like, dude, how is this guy? You know, I, I was just like a local Orange Y Southern California guy. And I was like, how is this guy in the magazine? Like, he must be really fast. He must, he must be really, really crazy or something. And they had like a, like a Bonneville salt flat rocket car. Yeah. He was flying, right? Was he flying or something? What was that? Yeah, I think he was jumping and he had, he was doing like a little tiny, not like a judge thing, but he was doing like a little one footer, like his foot was coming off. And then they had that rocket car. Yeah. <laughs> underneath it. Yeah. That was the thing about thruster. I mean, you know, and he, Mostly an East Coast, probably brand, right? Oh you know, yeah, you know, all the sure. people and everything, but they were fast. Like that was yeah. the East Coast team, for yeah. sure. Timmy Judge was on that. Yeah, it was. They had a lot of good Franco Perino. I mean, well, there was a ton of yeah. Chris. Chris Williams was on it. I mean, there was a t- ton of yeah. East Coast guys that were. Yeah, they never had a West Coast guy for thrust no. ever. No. I'd never seen one of those bikes. Crazy. Right? Ne- crazy. Never saw one in California ever. No. Yeah. Where where was Corey Corey Alley? Corey Alley? Was he he was on Thruster, right? Like, you know that guy? Uh no. Yeah, Corey Alley? No. Don't remember him. 
Yeah, I remember Corey Alley. Doesn't isn't that he wasn't, uh, was he on the East Coast? Yeah, just, Corey Alley's the East Coast guy. Isn't that the uh that's profile, bro? Profile. Yeah. Yeah, he's that's profile. And listen, profile was the East Coast team too, except yeah. except for Eric Rupp. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was thinking about. I saw uh, something came up on Facebook, uh, on Facebook, and it had a, it was an old ad for Redline with Greg Hill, and I was thinking about that. Man, you talk about it, it might be a tie between Greg Hill and Eric Roop for who's ridden for the most teams. Most teams, Pro is yeah. ridden for the most teams, <laughs> right? Well, Eric. Is still going, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, okay, in 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 the in the prime in the seventies to the eighties, <laughs> okay, because in the yeah. last yeah. like probably seven years, he's he's yeah, exactly raced for a couple of different different companies. Okay, let's say as a pro. Okay, yep. okay. So who who do you think is ridden for the most teams? And I, you know, if you stop and think about it, they both rode for the same teams for a long time. Yeah. As a pro, As who rode for the most teams? Ooh. Okay, so if we start this way, Schwinn, they both rode for Schwinn. Mongoose, they both rode for Mongoose. Yeah. Uh, SE, they both rode for SE. I, what, did Greg ride for SE or he rode yeah. for? Yeah, okay. He, he FMF, did. I did remember he? that. Yeah. He did? I think he was on SE briefly. On the very, very beginning when it, when it switched from FMF yeah. to wow. SE, yeah. Um, and I know Roop rode for him later on. Uh, him and his brother. Yeah. Redline, I think. Roop. Eric. Later he rode for Redline. Who? Eric. Eric. Yeah. Eric Not Roop. as a pro. Not as a pro. Not as a pro. Read more recently, yeah. I yep. think. That's true. But and then there's profile, which Roop did ride for, but right. Greg didn't. Yeah. GT, Greg. Yeah. Roop rode for GT, but not as a pro. Yeah. Mm. GHP, but does that count? It if, counts. You start, if you start your own company, does that count? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like these guys. I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Greg, I think, is the champion who rode for the most. The most teams. Robinson. And what? Robinson. And Robinson. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. I'd say Greg Hill then probably rode yeah. for more. The pro that rode for the most teams. Charles rode for a few as a pro. Hutch. He wasn't pro. No. Uh, no, no. no he didn't. He's hurt. No, no, wait. I think he didn't he turn. Oh, well, Rev nope. Core, Rev Core, right? So he's it was C- after when he turned pro, he was on CW. Yep. I'm Red sorry. Pro. I think when he turned pro, he was actually on Cyclecraft. And then CW picked him up. Then he did and- Revcore, Robinson, Powerlight. Uh what did he what was the other company that he rode for after that? Waffle after- House. Yeah, after Robinson, <laughs> he, he rode for. Uh, what did he ride for after Robinson? He rode for another company after Robinson. Shit, I can't remember it. Well, that's still not not as many as Greg Hill. Like a Jameis or something like that. Oh, oh. Not, not as many as Greg Hill. But he's in. He's a close second. Hmm. Well, uh, J- JV. Was there was there an ad that the what was to me the dumbest ad you saw or the worst was there oh, an ad you God. went like oh because that was one that came to my mind when I thought of the hey. question. No. How many teams? How, hey. No. Hey. How many teams did Hollywood <laughs> ride for? Not that many. Yeah, as a it. pro, as a pro. No, yeah. not that many. CW. Yeah. Hutch. Hutch. Corker. Jameis. Hardy's free agent. Yeah. Well, you rode for like Hardy's or some shit for like two Dom- days. Do- Domino's pizza for Dom- a second. <laughs> yeah, it was Domino's pizza. Uh, you know what? Uh, Velocity. <laughs> Velocity. 
What you, what was no, the guy, the guy that owned the guy from South Carolina or whatever. What, what, yeah, Georgia, the, the, what was that? that? Was Velocity. Velocity. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah, it was Velocity. A guy that owned a he owned a bike shop and was going to start a mail order company. And he yeah. And JV ruined his carpet. Yeah, I, ruined, I did. That was accidental, pure, purely accidental. JV ruined his car. It's brand new. They had put the carpet in the day, <laughs> like the day we, day before we got there. It was terrible. In, in this guest house. <laughs> I think about it today. It's terrible. It's what terrible. I did to that guy's carpet. I can't believe I did that to that guy's carpet. <laughs> I had a, I, I had a some type of foot issue, fungus or something, and I was, you know. Every night we bought spray at like a you know CVS or something. I put it, and I sprayed it on my heel, and then no, he put his foot down on the carpet and he would just spray around you know spray all over his foot. And it and it took the color off the carpet. It like we just took the color off the carpet. Yeah, it was Except brand new he, carpet. It still it was brand new. Smelled did, new. Did you not? Did you not go to CVS and buy like twelve more cans? We. <laughs> And, and, the whole thing. But dude, and so he you know he sprayed his foot he sprayed around his foot yeah and then he picked his foot up and then we went to bed and the next day we woke up and there was it looked like one of those murder scene outlines oh, there was this of his foot. foot it was like oh my god that stuff and, is real and so for the so what we did this the next day we we put, he, we we put moved, our bag over we, the top we, of it we put his giant zero <laughs> nine bag on top of it so he couldn't see it until the day we left <laughs> it wasn't us <laughs> then it was Cinderella. You had to go back in and put your foot in there to see who matched up. <laughs> oh god! Oh, so good. God, I remember that. That was the same trip. Where, that was the same trip, JV. That we had. We went. Uh, it was. It was uh, St. Patrick's Day. Do you remember that? We went no. somewhere. We were drinking green beer. Oh. And we went to Waffle House, and they had green waffles. Green waffles, that's right. And I remember the next day going to the bathroom and going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the leprechaun's in there too. <laughs> I just, I shit an artichoke. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I looked down there, I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Anyway, what was who was the question? What are we talking about? Worst ads? Yeah, worst, worst ads. I think we were. <laughs> oh man, the worst ad. There was one I remember. Well, the Hutch ad was pretty bad where they were all coming down in parachutes. Dude, that was Do you pretty remember bad. that? Yeah. They're yes. all it was all they're they're all on bicycles, but they'd hand drawn these parachutes and they're all coming down. Dude, that I, was pretty bad. I had a pre I had a pretty bad really pretty bad ad when i was on cw it was Trophy, trophies are chicks trophies are chicks dude. oh no, trophies and chicks <laughs> no, was, trophies and chicks it was trophies or chicks oh was it oh. yeah cw has got you covered oh, oh man i love that you rem you remember that oh my god dude pav Pav never lets me live it down. <laughs> where that guy's got the memory of every he's dude. It's like an encyclopedia, man. He always reminds me of the dumbest shit I did, dude. I'm just like, <laughs> can't you just forget that shit, man? He never forgets. Uh, I, re I remember another one that was it was a hand drawn. It was like uh it was for Jag. And it had uh it had the motorhome in it, and it was uh, and Richie Zagars. Mm. was talking yeah and it said uh i, I just remember it because i remember writing it on the inside of my van's shoes it it the the there were two like cartoon bubbles where they were talking yeah and one guy goes jamming on a jag has to be the baddest has to be the baddest oh, man. <laughs> and then i think richie zagars his bubble said yeah and here's the famous line it's the ultimate boogie <laughs> and, I, and on the, I remember riding on the inside of my vans. Ultimate boogie. No, you did not. Yeah, right here on the oh in, on the instep. My. On the instep. <laughs> ultimate did boogie. Not. I did. I totally did. This is the ultimate boogie. Ultimate boogie. I just yeah. love that. <laughs> yes. Oh that, gosh. That that was an ad. I it was. It's a terrible ad, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Yep. 
Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you I, do. I remember the Zap uh, for Zap pads. I think yep. it was, it was one yeah. Rad pads. Yes, and Cosmala and PK and those guys, and they and there was beer getting thrown, and they all looked hammered. Yeah, I remember that ad. No, I don't remember. What was that. it? What, there was what was that? The ad that they shot. Cardoza was in it. It was they were on the gate at like Alpine Village. Is it the one where they're holding the pad up in front of them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Terrible. I think I remember that one. Yeah, they're, no, all the gate, they're holding their, they're holding pads out in front. Yeah, of them. yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, like they're showing hot dogs off or something. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, go At go! Worst, what are you doing? On the worst gate of all gates ever. It was just scrap wood nailed together. <laughs> JV, it barely made the middle of your rim, your tire. It was so <laughs> so short of a gate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a horrible track, horrible game. <laughs> I remember Billy having some ads with like teen, you know, teen girls that were like from TV shows. Oh, Super BMX. Yeah, yeah. like sitting on his bike or something. Yeah. Like that. I remember, yeah. yeah, like what was the like George Stamos <laughs> on a bike? There's some some bad ones. There were some bad bad ads. Some good ones, but man, some really terrible ads. Uh, I remember uh, an ad that was uh, Greg. Well, no, hold on. There's two. Greg with the zap pad, and the whole thing was kind of orange and, sh and dark, and he's holding the zap pad out in front of his face, and he's all sweaty. Yeah. I'm like, and I kept thinking, why is he sweating? <laughs> What? I just look, look at the ad, but but one of my favorite ones was Clint Miller. Yeah, I was just gonna say it, dude. Oh my god, which, which Miller, one was that? He's got his shirt off and he's got black paint on his face, and it's he's supposed to be the like Conar, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, remember and that what, movie, JV? Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah. I, and I think I could picture the ad, yeah. And I, from that point on, I used to always call Clint Miller. I said, hey, there's Con <laughs> Conar the ball bearing. <laughs> hey, Conar, Conar the ball bearing. <laughs> God, I, I, I hope when he hears this, he sees this, he shakes his head and goes, damn that Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Conar the ball bearing. I talked to Craig Kundig a couple weeks ago and I, I reminded him of that. Oh man, he's a big fan of Clint. I'm a big fan of Clint Miller's, by the way. He's a good guy. Dude, you had some ads. You were laying down sideways like you had Jordache jeans on. You did have and, some ads. And like, yeah, sitting you next did. to your frame, you know, laying no. down next to your frame sideways. You, you know, know what? <laughs> I'm going to tell you just two stories. One is so we shot that ad for CW, and we, this is terrible. God, it's terrible. It's embarrassing at the end. <laughs> But so we shot this ad. I'm sitting, you know, I'm sitting with the frame. I'm holding the frame. I'm holding the frame up. I'm doing all this stuff. And and Roger goes, okay, we got enough. And I go, oh, cool. hold on, Roger. Let me do one more. And I laid down with the frame. And of course, that's the one they used. Yeah. So I would tell you that to tell you this one. We were shooting an ad for JT Racing when they came out with the bonehead stuff. And the same thing. They had me standing on the wall, looking this way, doing that. And that I one say, was actually pretty cool. The one wow. where you jumped up, you jumped That's up. That's just it. We were all done. Now we're all done. I said, hey, hold on. Can we shoot a couple more? And I jumped up and they, I go, and I started scooping off and they took pictures of me. I thought that in the was all right. I thought that was, those were my favorite ads. I mean, <laughs> not my favorite of all time, but I mean. Yeah, but it was okay. It was wasn't... fun. Yeah, yeah, I liked them. I liked them better than the JT ads where everyone was just all posing like they were in a JC Penny <laughs> ad. <laughs> <laughs> I, always, I always thought the. What were those? What were those leather? Those leathers? They were like. Uh, it had all the guys standing there. Oh, Arrow. No. I loved those ads. The Arrow ads and the, and the Max ads where they had all the riders standing there. Yeah, but they had the. It's the. It's the. It was the stretchy pants. Oh, gear. Gear. Oh, gear. And all the guys were standing nuts to butts. Oh yeah. No, went to back. No, no, that, that's terrible. I always thought that was a little suspect. Especially, Roop, especially in those pants. Roop was Roop was the only one off to the side. 
Yeah. Rufus over here. Yeah, man. Let, that, let, you know it, what, though? Carl Butler pan. was in that. Carl Butler yeah. was in that ad. Matt Hayden was, too. Yeah. We laugh about those pants, but, like, aren't the new pants kind of like that? Yeah. Now? They are. So are like that. So are softball pants. They're just like that. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's I remember true. The, the arrow the when I got invited to go shoot that arrow that pants you know the ad for arrow pants and it was myself and Jeff Moten smoking mm. smoking Jeff smoking Moten. yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway we went to and he's if you look at that ad he's wearing my jersey no way yeah and you can see the the arms are super baggy and long and everything's tucked in because he didn't bring a jersey to the didn't bring a jersey to the shoot so I remember at that ad. Uh, Bob Haro drove up. He was the last one to arrive. We were all there. We we're all waiting. And Bob Haro drove up in his BMW. Oh. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I hate that guy. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I saw, I, but I did think to myself, wow, that guy is making a lot of money. He's got a BMW. Yep. Yep. And then Brent Patterson had a BMW. And I was like, oh, that guy's got a BMW. <laughs> I showed them I got a Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. My God. what what pro in the eighties? I guess the eighties. Um, what pro do you think made the most money? In the eighties? Wow. Yeah. What pro do you think all together? Co sponsorship, sponsor, who do you think if you're guessing, you know, I, did the best? I'd say Gary Ellis probably. Oh, really? Well, it, he went from from what eighty, because he he went all the way up to to the nineties, right? Yeah. So he had a long run when there was money. Yeah. I think I don't know what Stewart's. You know, I don't know what what I was going to say for the yeah. Huffy deal, but yeah. I, I imagine Stu was getting paid pretty good from Redline too. Uh, yeah, but no, I don't think he was getting Huffy money. And then I think Huffy paid him more and, and they had a, you know, a deal for his, he talked about it in our episode with him, how he yeah. got something for the bikes. Yeah. But I think over the period of time, I think maybe Gary Ellis would be my guess just because again, he was top ranked pro at, with a good company that had a great, you know, and he won championships and Richard paid well for that Right. O- over so many years. That's why I thought long-term. Mm. I know, Levesque got, I know Levesque got paid pretty well, but he didn't start in the 80s. He it's later, guy. right? But I know his, I mean, his specialized deal was big, big deal. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say, would, I would have to say probably, yeah. Why Gary. Say, Gary Ellis. Hmm. If, if you said early 80s or in the 70s, that's different. Well, eighties made more yeah. than the seventies, right? Yeah, but in the seventies, it was one guy. I think one guy made a lot of money. Scott Brighthop mm. started. All, <laughs> I mean, he spent it all, but he started his own company, and you know, I don't know how you look at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Greg probably did pretty well too, Matt, because he was I, part of yeah. that GT thing as well with Robinson. You know. But you know what? If we just stop and think about it, he didn't ride from that long. Believe it or not, it was only a couple of years. Yeah. Because he went, he started GHP. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, he well, went. He, from, did, he went. He, he went GT, GHP, and then after GHP, was he Redline? No, that was before. Did he go redline? That was before. He, well, I think he was on redline twice, wasn't he? I don't think so. I thought he was just. Mm. Red, I thought it was before. I thought it was redline, then mongoose, and then GT, then GHP, then back to Robinson. That's Robinson. what I think. Yeah. So I I bet he made decent money on GT and all the way till he was done with. Robinson, yeah, I did pretty good. Yeah, I think he did pretty good too. Yeah, 
I love when Dale Holmes, mm -hmm. when he interviews guys, yeah, it's one of the first things he always asks. He always asks, so how much money did you make? Uh. <laughs> I do. Well, I'm, oh, no, he I'm glad he asked. That. I know. I'm always curious. Ooh, how would you answer that? Like, I have a funny answer. I go, how much do I, did I make or how much was I supposed to make and got gypped out of? Mm. So it was a different answer. <laughs> but that how probably much? happened to, that happened to a lot of people. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. everybody got got you know got owed some money. Not just in the around. bike, in the yeah. It's not just BMX, dude. It's in the mountain bike world too. Yep. Yeah. Hey, all right, here's here's my next question. Oh. Still, we got. Here's my next question. Uh, in thinking about the magazines again, was there anyone's like, was there a uniform, a whole kit? a uniform that you thought from an ad or from the magazine, a writer that you saw in an ad or magazine you thought was just the coolest. I know we talked to the, about the mongoose and that kind of probably is still my answer, but there might be some other ones. Yeah. Like hey, by, by far, mean... by far my Hutch uniform was my favorite by far. But yeah. when I, but I look back in the magazines, you know, before that, that wasn't my favorite. Richie Anderson with his Patterson shit with the zero nine pants, the whole, the whole setup to me was pretty awesome. You know, it's, it's, it wasn't very popular, but you know, whose kids I really liked, man, um, were, um, S and S. Oh, wow. S and S. Eloy oh. Sanchez and, and Greg Spencer and, uh, Greg Spencer. John Severin. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. white. Orange with, and white. And, mm. and a little bit and a little bit of black. Yeah, those were good yep. looking. Uniforms. It, was, it was Halloween colors, but it was but they <laughs> they I thought they did them really, really good. Yeah. And uh and I think they had Bill Walters leathers. I was just gonna say that they had Bill Walters mm. leathers. And, uh, yeah. Any those, you... those leathers were yeah. Yeah. Those that BW stuff just looked so good. It was just amazing, yeah. right? Well, when I first started, that's what everyone rode. I mean, that was the stuff to have. Um, you know, right. the Sh Schwinn team had them. The Mongoose team had them. Did you guys ever see the old, Sh the first BMX ad I ever saw, commercial, was Schwinn. And it was, uh, they were, yeah, that. it was, this is in the mid-70s. Eric Roop, Robbie Roop, I think, Mark Pippen, Kevin Jackson. They did a TV commercial. And it was pretty good. Cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And they were, you know, all of the, the whole kit they were, and Bill Walters leathers. And then I got a pair when I worked yeah. for Riverside Schwinn. I got a pair of Bill Walters leathers. Before that, I had my mom made me. No pair. way. Yeah, dude. We had, there's, I put a picture up. I've got, I'll put it up again. There was some, just some funky cheap inexpensive race pants that were in the bargain bin at malcolm smith motorcycle <laughs> shop and i got them and and then i i also bought a uh, a jt sticker i mean a jt patch and i had my mom <laughs> sew the patch onto those pants <laughs> terrible and i i just found that picture and i was like oh do i post this and i did i posted yeah. it but it I didn't put my name to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. So yeah, amazing. When I first got that very first pair of Bill Walters leathers, I could not believe how heavy they were. They looked heavy. Yeah. They were heavy. Yeah, they looked it. But I'll tell you what, they had that lining on the inside. Yeah. like the, It's the same material as a jersey with the little holes in it. The entire pants were lined with yeah. that. So that, that moved, and the outside pant didn't. So it worked good, but, man. Yeah. They had Hot. super large stitching. Yeah. Like the stitching looked like it was really thick. Dude, you know, and, big. The, and it had a leather knee patch the size of a football. <laughs> yeah. Size of a bat two basketball. Yeah, it was you, huge. you took a basketball and cut it in half <laughs> and stood it on your knees. Exactly. <laughs> but they were I always liked that though, man, because he was always he would always contrast those. So yeah. like the mongoose guys had blue, those pads were blue. And their pants were red. Mm. That was so dialed. You could you could fall 
a hundred times and not damage those pants. <laughs> yeah. And or you yeah. could have gear pants and slide into second base. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Veras kids, made good pants too, man. I remember Veras. Veras leathers. I think, uh, yeah, Veras leathers. Yeah, because I was a I was a local, and uh, Powerlight was a big uh, local team for us, and um, so I wanted to be. I wanted them. Um, they and they ran Veras leather, so I I always wanted Veras. Okay. The, the, uni the uniform that a lot of people talk about. That and I and I agree with it is Blue Max. They talk about that uniform being, yeah, um, yeah like one of the yeah. one of the coolest. I think the Patterson uniform is one of the coolest. Yeah, Patterson. I agree. And that, that elect really cool. that electro helmet was pretty pretty good looking too. All right, here we go. What do you got? Here's here's my last question. Oh, I know oh. it's gonna tell. And and I'm gonna answer last. I want to answer last. Um, it's a two it's a it's a two part question. The first part is if I asked you, here goes Hollywood stacking yeah. the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One question. You know this uh, is, with five parts. Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea. Let's pitch pennies <laughs> for beds. Yeah, I've never done that. All right, dude. What, it's ringer. What is what is your favorite magazine ad the f and what's the first one you remember it's the first mag start with that what's the first magazine ad that you remember first magazine ad i remember yeah. holy cow man i, I am really drawn blank Dude, I, 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 I could like I that. could tell you the one I could tell you the one that I think about now because we've talked about it is the Amy ad. The 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 Amy ad with all the people in it was kind of oh like, yeah yeah it was a cartoon it was, yeah, yeah it was a cartoon oh, oh, because we because we talked yeah. about it and it's like yeah. the first thing I think about now. I'm sorry, I said ad. I meant cover, cover of the oh. magazine. What's the, what's the cover that you remember the most? That you first one, your first one you remember, and then what's your favorite? Because I doubt it's the same. I'll tell you what my the one I remember mm. the most. The one I remember the first one I can remember, and it wasn't the first one I had actually, but the one I remember was it was a BMX action, and it was probably the third or fourth issue, and they were in a little car with a bunch of bikes hanging out of it. Mm. I re that's the first one I remember. I remember, that. I I remember that's remember the first that one I too. got. Yeah, it's the first one I went and bought. And then I got some older ones from a guy that lived up the street. You guys remember the first magazine? First magazine? First one you remember? Oh God, I don't. I can't think of one. I can't think of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> shit. Okay. Probably the one that, that I can remember the most. I uh, mean, it's a toss up between Eddie King and Harry Larry. Both of them. So oh, Eddie's the the shot. The shot of Eddie King is he's on Torker, and it's from the top, and he's yeah. sliding through a berm. Yeah, but it's shot from mm, above. Yes, and the, yes, and it's not the image. The the cover isn't full. The picture doesn't cover the whole cut magazine. Yeah. It's yeah, it's like. The across and then yeah, there's like the writing third. on blank yeah and it had yellow lines i thought it was really artistic and then the same with um with harry's cover as well right he's doing that leary and it's it's his picture and it's and then there's a circle behind his picture and he his image goes out past the the circle i believe like yeah. it goes outside of the the boundaries of it it's it's and white I with just a, thought those were really um yep white exactly. with a blue white with a blue circle and he's and doing the leary two, with the red jmc uniform on yep and those were the first that i really remember like colors it was really impressionable and artistic and eddie's that magazine the cut the whole cover was brown and it had that, like you yeah. said the gold lines and it was just the middle third had that picture in it 
Right. Now remember that too. It looks really fast. He's going really, the way they panned with it, you know, I didn't know at the time, but the way they, you know, they moved with it, it created that sense of speed and um, it looks really fast. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, that guy's going so fast on his bike. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, he, he was supposed to come on tonight, but he goes to bed at eight o'clock. What? Yeah, I think he has a paper route. <laughs> he's, no, he's a paper boy he's a paper boy he's a silent paper boy he doesn't want anybody to know i asked him to come on he goes yeah yeah, yeah. oh he goes oh no i can't i can't. no i could have been like at eight o'clock i go eight o'clock <laughs> you getting up and milking cows what are you doing Dude. over there man who goes to bed at eight o'clock who goes to bed at eight o'clock dude uh, I, I feel like I'm sometimes I'm still working on in the field at eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy all right. Eddie. So here we go. Your favorite of all time ads. Yeah, I mean ads. I keep saying ads. Your favorite cover. of all time covers. Your favorite cover shot of all time. I I I, I have I, no idea on that. You don't. You can't think of one single cover. That's I can't your favorite. Think of, I can't think of a cover right now. Maybe you should go to bed at eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> favorite cover. Then just be, Man, just wanna, be my it best. Makes me want to go. I'm... Just be my best friend and say one of mine. Then <laughs> one of yours jumping over with was, was a. Would you jumping over by no. the Hollywood sign? A cover no. that wasn't a what, cover, right? Was not a cover. It was a hot shot. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Well, I can think of, I, I know what mine is. It, it's not my own, but I know what mine is. But I'm curious as to what you boys come up with. For your favorite cover shot of all time. Wow. I'm blank. I am. Shit. I can listen. I can, I can. I need to go. I feel like I need to get that. I need to like Google some stuff. It's not a I bad know. idea. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. EC, you know how to do that? I uh, am. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to see if I can try. <laughs> oh, you guys disappeared, though. Jeez. Yeah, see? I just opened the window and it's, you guys, you guys, I hide you guys. Where'd yeah. you go? We're lost in the Google of vacation. <laughs> Oh man, there's a lot of covers yeah. here. I'm looking at them all. Jesus. You're looking at them on Google? I just Googled them. I'm looking at oh BMX gosh. action I'm... covers now. Wow. I am too. There's a Sal Zuner one on the cover. Yeah. yeah. With a one NJ. That's crazy. Yes. With a big one NJ. That's right. Yeah, we're in the thruster uniform. Yeah, I got, you dark gotta... blue, dark blue, light blue. I remember it from memory, man. Yep. At Craigmere. That's crazy. Might have to go with that just because East Coast. Wow. Got to, got to give some East Coast love here. Oh, there's a really good one too. Another one. Dude, this is a good. This is. I mean, I know the, our readers can't see what we're seeing. Our our listeners can't see what we're looking at but oh i'll put them all up though pretty I'm, gonna put them, right? I'm gonna put them all up as we're talking about i'm gonna put them up so let me just let me oh, throw out a couple man. a couple different ones and the, again guess, these are yeah. from memory one of them one of them is you said ec was about the panning how it made it look super fast the very very yeah. first bmx action magazine had brian lewis and he's and it's a panning shot yeah. and he looks I'm, and he's kind of pitching it sideways uh, in a turn yeah, and it I'm looks like he's right yeah, and he looks like yeah. he's going about a million miles an hour yeah and i always thought i'm that was actually i'm looking at it right now he's leaning forward he's got his foot out and he's got a uh looks like a scott face mask on yep yep that's one of my all i mean that that's got to be a favorite it's iconic not just because it's first one but yeah, that thing, looks, i remember that I, look at that cover yep i, I mean that's 
Is that in the, like the Superdome or something? L- LA, uh, LA Coliseum. God, look at that. Yep. And look at the people that are riding in it. Brian Cornell, Dennis Dane, Kevin Jackson, uh, Jeff Botima, uh, Toby. And I'm telling you, that's, that's you know, how many pair of Bill Walters leathers are in that shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That Amazing. is awesome. Yep. Great, great ad. Great. Wow. I mean, excuse me, great, great cover. He's jumping off the side oh. of that of that wooden jump. I know yeah. it's I I I know I know one that, that Hollywood's gonna pick. Oh, I know for sure he's gonna pick that one. It's, Which one? It's a picture, it's a, it's a picture of a guy at Na, at uh, Nashville. A picture of a guy at Nashville. Murray, the Murray World Cup is at Nashville, right? That's yeah. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. With the tower behind him? Yeah. It's yeah. A co- it's a cover from Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do sure. you know which one I'm talking about? JD? No. I know. Oh, wow. I, I mean, I, I could. Pay, I know. I know what, you, what shot you're talking about, though, with the tower. That's like right. right Towers next. in the background. Yeah, yeah. And he's he's going he's going around the the remember the little doubles in the turn in the second turn. Yeah. Yeah, he's jumping those. Who is it? Let me see if I. Can. Yeah. You're drawing a blank, Hollywood. Yeah, I don't know. It's in yeah, Nashville. But I could picture and it. The, and it's I a cover of a magazine. Shot. Yes. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, I got it. You got it. See, I can use technology. Bro. You can. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you can't. can't. No, you can't. Hold on. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Grubbs. Grubber. Grubber. Is yeah. I thought that uh, you know what it's funny you say that I always thought that was from South Park. Might be no. South Park. North, North, oh, could be yeah, South Park. Right? Into the last turn. Into the last turn of South Park, jumping the it double. It is South Park. See, I threw you off. Yeah, See? but I knew right. what you were talking about because He's trying to use technology. Um, oh, no, no, that's a good yeah. one. That's that a good is a one. Good one. So many good ones. Well, man. you you mentioned one of them. You see but that actually, one, the one of Leary is a classic. Yeah, a great one. It is. This one is what you're talking about, right? No, that's the. I think that's at the Silver Dome in, uh, or not, yeah, Silver Dome in Michigan. Look at Pontiac, that shit. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's Pontiac, Michigan. That's not that one. He, I think he has more covers than anyone else, by the way. I think Harry Larry has the most covers. Harry of, does. Of, of BMX I think action. you might be right. Yeah. Isn't that right? It's, it's right, isn't it? I don't That's know, but the, I think so. I don't know. I think you're right. Okay. Wow. What a good man. Go ahead. There's so many. Now that you just start looking at them. Yeah. At, at Adam, you're like, yeah. wow. <laughs> so many. It's wild, right? Yeah, so many. And totally remember the one of Toby, oh, yeah. like, jumping. That, like, that's jumping. a great one. That's a great one. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what? You know what we, but you you, you want to know what's funny? I'm talking about any other magazine's covers. Right, we're not talking about BMX Plus. We super, are not. Super, right. I was gonna say Super BMX with uh, with uh, um, Stamos on there, John Stamos on there. No. Sorry, this probably is one that's memorable for me. I remember seeing. I remember this one. Which one is that? With Greg, like with uh, oh, lost you can't even see. Can you see me? Yeah, I see it perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. There yeah, I don't know. If oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. That one, I, re- I remember this one. Mike doesn't like that one. I like it. Oh, you do? Not, yeah, it's just not, not, 
I just read my... You don't like it. It's okay. All right, yeah, look, just look we'll give you a little, we'll give you some love, buddy. So <laughs> we'll give that, you a little. That might be my favorite. It's a pretty badass. Which one? The right one here. that J- JV's Can you holding. See it? Yeah. On Torker, yeah. doing a cruise. Yeah, it's pretty badass. I loved it because it said Team Jesus on there. Yep. And, uh, and it was a it was a homage, you know, uh, paying homage to to John Cruz, my hero. Yeah, that was a good one. That's that's my favorite one. If I could pick, if I could pick one with, with me, it, with or without me, I think that's my favorite one. You know what year that was? 80, 84. 84. 84. Yeah, it was easy to pick. It was the only year I wrote for him. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, uh, in the process, there's two more things I was going to tell you about. I don't have any more questions about magazines, but there was one more thing I want to tell you about. Was that uh, the other day I was over at the at USA BMX at their offices, going through a track operator orientation. Mm. Oh yeah. Since I'm the since I'm the track operator for Dirty Fest, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I gotta get my, uh, I gotta get my trucker hat and my polo shirt, <laughs> and my and JV texted me, did they give you your uniform yet? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the trucker hat and the polo shirt and the so corduroy, good. corduroy yeah. shorts. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I was over there and I walked out. Uh, I, I turned the corner and there it was, the bookcase. And they have all of the magazines still there. Oh, oh all, wow. of, all BMX action, all that's BMX plus. Cool. All, I thought, oh my gosh, you you could lose a week of your life there. Oh man, uh, talk about no sleep, pizza, Mountain Dew, and that bookshelf done. That's a great vacation. That'd be a great vacation. Could you imagine? I know, right? Be a great vacation. Just- yeah. Imagine day one breaking your glasses. Oh. <laughs> so, so that'd be terrible. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So we, yeah, I was there and I saw that. I was like, oh man, that's so cool. And the other thing I was going to tell you was that. So I just started collecting. I just started, you know, as you saw, I got some jerseys and stuff that came back to me from from. Thank you, JV, for my helmet, by the way, and EC for the jersey. Um, well, you got a visor on there too. Yeah, now. I finally got a visor on there. Okay. Uh, anyway, I was <laughs> I was thinking, I you know, I want to start collecting the magazines that I it was on. Sure. Or, or in, and uh, I started doing it, and so I bought a couple. I, I bought some on eBay, and they came to me, and it still had the kids' address on there, the mailing address. Oh. Label, <laughs> but I I already I already uh right up behind here you can't see, but I've got a couple of them already framed and hung up on the wall cool wow. yeah but and i left dude i left the labels on there of course <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah i just all I, all I just want to get the ones i was well i would like to have all of the magazines that i was in to show my you know my grandkids basically my kids sure. and grandkids uh but the cover yeah. ones the cover ones are the ones i want to get and stick on the wall yeah that's pretty cool do you have that EC? You had some good. You had some good covers too, man. That the the one where you're on Hutch and you're power sliding. Mm. That article. That article inside, has some. Oh, dude, the picture from the U. Yeah, that that was insane. That was a big jump. I remember seeing that. Oh, dude, how big was that jump? How ahead of its time was it? Big time, way ahead of his time. And not knowing, you know, I didn't, that that picture, that shot was the first time I hit it. And, and I just didn't know how fast to go. So, you know, if in doubt, wow. air it out. I just, I went so fast at that thing and launched and just kicked it sideways. TV. This So this place is in uh, Palmdale, Lancaster Valley, right? It's like out in the desert. Hmm. And it's literally built 
on the San Andreas earthquake fault. <laughs> oh, jeez. Literally. On the fault. Actually, <laughs> on the fault. You can we- ride to the back of it, and you can see, you can actually, where the freeway, where they cut through it, and you can see the plates, like, on their like, crazy. crazy. But, uh, so, it has this, it's this big, they call it the U, because it's just this big, you're on the side of the hill over here, and you do this big giant roll in as far, and as far up as you want to hike right how much speed you can go in and you just come ripping down and it's it's not tight at the bottom it's this big long you know big long transition bend out and then it starts rolling up and you start going uphill for yeah. a ways and then as you're going uphill they cut a flat like flat piece and they built a wooden ramp into it so it's like it's almost like hitting a i wouldn't call it a quarter pipe because it's not all the way vert right but it's it's pretty up there it's pretty close to vert (laughs) yeah and you're going way faster than you've hit any jump in your life on a yeah you've never gone that fast and hit a jump and you just go and you launch and there's a, a pad up there that you can land on there's different ones actually if you that later on guys were jumping to different decks oh cool Gary Laurent was transferring I don't know like 35 feet to one side Jeez. it was ridiculous what those guys were doing but it was so ahead of its time you only jumped about six feet yes the, dist- the distance you jumped was about six feet but you jumped about 15 feet up in the air oh and uh, like I said the first time I hit it it was like oh well I don't know how fast to go so I'm gonna go fast <laughs> i want to make sure i make it and i just i boosted that thing and just threw it sideways and i realized oh yeah i didn't need to go that fast <laughs> but on that shot you know i'm i'm just throwing the thing sideways just kind of feeling it out i got that it was a good made picture. for an amazing shot that place was gosh yep unbelievable place to ride it's really? not like any dirt jump place yeah, Bartlett yep. and Billy and Harrison. Billy Harrison and, uh, oh, I Gary, bet. Gary Laurent. And, and Crowsdale. And uh, Gary Laurent. Ernie Ballard was another guy from the desert out there yep. that raced. Yeah, good, dudes, good, good times. They would just good ride times. this place, man. That I mean, had to be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Desert rats. It just was, a, it was the most unique place, JV. Like, you know, like yeah. anytime... Any other place, you know, it's like, oh, let's go to the local jumps. And there's a dirt lot, right? And it may have a slight little gradual slope to it. And, you know, there'd be like four sets of doubles. Yeah. Maybe a berm. Yeah. yeah. Right? And that was like, okay, yeah, okay, that's the spot. You know, this place was completely different. Oh, and I don't know, but trail, trails and stuff? This, this... Trails also? Yeah. Or just this big they were jump? like, there wasn't, no jumps were like, trails where you would jump a double and then another double and another double it was all natural contoured into the hillside so they had this run you could you could you start at the top roll in you could hit the board jump on the u and then when you landed you could turn left and you could start going down this canyon right Mm. only way you call it a canyon yeah and you just keep going down the hill and then like there'd be another depression and they'd put a lip like 15, 20 feet before the, 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 you know, the big dip in the ground. I mean, we're talking like 20 or 30 feet in and you'd like sky into that big old bowl. And then you'd fly out and it was all natural contoured with lips put on all the natural contours cool. of the hillside. Oh man. What really a cool. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Fun, man. Really, really, really fun. The first scary. Time, yeah. The first time I rode there was that magazine. The speed trip. is scary. Yeah. Yeah. Ma- speed was scary. <laughs> it, it was it, but when I like I said, the first time I rode there was the time was that time I shot that magazine shot. And it was, yeah. you know, we just hit we just hit one jump. So all you did was hit one jump. But yeah. that one jump would scare the daylights out of most people. <laughs> wouldn't you say AEC, wouldn't you say that oh, most yeah. people, even today? Would look at that if you looked at it. Well, first of all, the the ramp was so rickety, but you, <laughs> you would look at that and you go, "Whoa, whoa, 
I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. You know, you, yeah, you, because it doesn't, yeah, well, of course, because the ramp doesn't look right. But then, I mean, it's just a really intimidating, when you stand at the top and you're looking and you're looking down at it, the, the ramp looks like. Vert. It looks like, you know, you're up here. So it looks like you're like a wall. It looks yeah. like you're running into a wall at right. 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you're just thinking there's no way, man. You ever see anyone wreck on that thing? No, but I'm uh, sure it happened. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I did because I would. I rode there a lot with those guys. I, I mean, I stayed at Bartlett's house for days at a time, and I would go there and ride. And so, um, yeah. But it, the wrecks. The thing about it, though, JV, is the wrecks were really, really mellow because yeah. um, you were flying uphill, right? You would land with almost no speed. Uh, and so, I mean, I, I remember trying one-hander landers and no-hander landers and wrecking a bunch of times, trying that stuff, you know, watching Gary Laurent jump. He was, he had those wired. Gary could do, you know, he was doing these tricks where he would like jump and he would like circle his arm twice and then put that <laughs> hand on and circle his arm twice, put that hand on. He was doing all kinds of crazy shit. And uh, so I was... But the landing was so soft and so slow because gravity would slow you down that it wasn't even a, it wasn't that dangerous, honestly. But it was intimidating. Did you guys ever play horse on a bicycle jumping? You know, we we all you, oh we used to do that at Jones. We did we everyone had to kick out to the left and then then you had to kick out to the right and then you had to take your left hand off and then take your right hand off. <laughs> we we didn't. We didn't play horse uh, uh, when, you know, when my parents, when we had a track in my parents' backyard in Norco, oh, yeah. we didn't play horse, but we would always do this. The French guys would always do this deal where we would like draw a line on the ground and then everybody would have to start from that line and jump, jump doubles. Jump. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then you, and then, if, you know, if you case it, you were out and dude, you could get, it was it was pretty hairy, man. Like <laughs> shit, we how were close you are. It's yeah. like one, two, whoop. yeah, it's like two, two and a half cranks off the lip, and then yanking your bike so hard to get over it. I remember it. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're, and you sometimes, you know, it like the timing was it, your wrong foot it was what you were powering <laughs> as you jumped off the lip, and you, you know, sideways and shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But, hey, that's we played a question. That a lot. We did. Do you always jump with your right foot forward or left foot forward? Always. Right I, foot forward. Your right foot forward. Uh, I'm I'm trying to think. Feel Natu right now. naturally. I think I'm left forward. Your left foot forward. Yeah, right. I'm left foot forward. Yeah, I, I you know I don't I know what I do. I, I just wonder if most people are right foot forward and left foot forward is goofy foot. It's I was just gonna say goofy foot, right? Left foot forward. I don't know. I'm left foot forward for sure because I'm feeling like I'm going off a lip right now in my mind. And, <laughs> I'm feeling that. I I and, see the picture uh, of him in his chair. He's going. He's leaning to the side of his chair. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm, le I'm left foot forward. Yeah. And I'm I'm leaning in the sushi bar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's left foot forward for sure for me. Okay, but I so I will tell you. Yeah. No, go ahead. I was gonna say one of the things we used to practice at my parents' backyard is I had a like five or six doubles in a row and I would jump and then I would half crank and jump with the, the other foot and I would half crank in the air and land and then jump with that foot and half crank in the air so that I could I I wanted to be able through that game with those guys from France I realized that half crank makes a difference going to a set of doubles and if I have to stop a half crank early because I'm uncomfortable jumping with the wrong foot forward. I'm going to lose that little bit of extra. So I actually practiced 
jumping with both. I can jump with both either foot forward if I need to, but I'm lefty mostly. Hmm. It, yeah. it, de it depends on what I'm doing. Like it, I'm right foot forward to do most jumps, but if I do a leery, I'm left foot forward. You have to be. Yeah. Because you leery to the right. Correct. I like to. So you it, can't have your right foot forward. Right. Yeah. So and, when, you, when you see guys that do learies, when they do them right and they're right foot forward, it looks really bad. Yeah. You have goofy. to have it the other way around. Yeah. And yeah. So here's, another, now, here's something I never thought of. Never thought of it until just now. If you're right foot forward, JV, like you and I are. Yeah. Do you prefer to turn left? Or do you, are you, do you, are you better turning right? Like if you're going to, if you were going to slide I in, I think I prefer gonna, to turn left. If you're going to slide in and throw dirt at somebody, if left. you're going to kick out into a puddle and throw muddy water on an old lady sitting at a bus stop, would you do that with, to the left? Left. What about you, EC? You'd be to the right. JV. Yeah. <laughs> left. Left, yeah. Yeah. gotta be. <laughs> and you, you see, uh, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a power slide. I power slide to the left better. My left foot. Uh, oh. Huh. Yeah, because I jump left foot forward, but I power slide. Yeah, but I power slide to the left too. Like I, I go this way. I, I and you know what? I knew that. I knew you were the, I think that you're abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to we say knew that. Yeah. You're abnormal. No, yeah. I, I knew you, that be, because you you, in your backyard, you had this, uh, the, the turn that was closest to the back patio, the flat turn. And you'd had cut yeah. a group. You'd cut a group. Yeah. You used to be able to do that to the yeah. left really well. And I, used, but I, I always thought, wait, you're right. Wait, no, you're left foot left. forward. <laughs> yeah. You're backwards. Yeah. You're just, you know, yeah. you're yeah. very, you're a very special young man. <laughs> how, how weird was it that we made, of all the things we had in the backyard, there was all the jumps and berms and everything, and we just cut a moto rut in the ground. No berm. So we could carve. No berm. It, it was just like a two inch. <laughs> cut groove in the dirt and that's what you would try to ride and and hold your tire in it <laughs> all the technology in the world <laughs> and ec still writes his passwords on a piece of paper and folds it up <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh man well i wouldn't have it all any them, other way all of them are on one big sheet and then Can when you, i gotta reset them <laughs> When I got to reset them, I cross up the old one and I put the new one underneath it. <laughs> technology. Well, I, you know, technology is great and all. <gasps> and, and, and because of technology, we get to do this. But uh, I, I wouldn't change anything about the way either one of you guys do your stuff. <laughs> I love having, oh, I mean, really, just the way JV, JV is... You know, the master of worrying about things <laughs> and the details, the smallest of details. So am I. Yeah. And, and you're the opposite. Me too. You don't worry about the details, but you just get it done. <laughs> you know, I, I have learned over the years not to worry if you're going to get it done or not. Mm. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it getting done. I, I, it's just not done. It's not done on my time frame. That's it. Right. I don't have to. I don't worry right. about it getting done. I right. uh, wouldn't change hey. a thing. Wouldn't change a thing about you want to be. Hey, but listen, uh, all things BMX would like to have the three of us on. Okay. Is that <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> He sent me. He said, <laughs> "Look at all he was just shaking his head." Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> he asked if we could do it. JB. <laughs> a week I was on it, so. Yeah. That's right. That's what that is. It's that show. <laughs> it's trying to, it was trying to play. That's what that is. He's never seen our podcast, but he's going to go on somebody else's now. <laughs> well dude you guys they gave me the i'm gonna be on live remember we had to get the question yeah we got the questions in there we had to, got on there yeah, yeah. I, on. I was actually out we had to beat eddie room, shut my tractor off so i could log in nah, i appreciate that yep had, had to, to beat be, eddie had to beat eddie that's had all the that yep uh I, I would do be in a car i mean i could Perfect. do it yeah yeah I'm going to do it from the bathroom on, no, pur- not. on purpose. I'll do it from the bathroom. No I could, way. I, I'll have to, it'll be on my phone. So yeah. it's five o'clock Wednesday, five o'clock California time. I think I it's either five or six. Do you think I could figure out how to do it on my phone? Yeah. It's just a link. I think you just, just click the link. link. Just, just tap the link to, with your finger. Do I have to get some apps or something? No, nope. I don't. I don't think so. EC. I think you just, I think they'll send a link and you could just click it and. It just goes to the to the Zoom or whatever. Yes, my compass. Do you have Zoom on your phone? I don't think so. I don't I got have that. It. I just take it to this. To take that it. guy. Take it to the compass. Yeah. Boom. Um, yeah, that'd be I because I'll probably just be on my track. I'll just shut my tractor off. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it for <laughs> let's do it for 15 minutes. Let's do it for actually. I'll minutes. just leave my tractor on. Leave the tractor on. What are you do? What are you doing? I'm gonna show. I'm gonna do mine like this. <laughs> are you in the toilet? Hold on. You're in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey guys. Hey, what well, dirty? Uh. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta oh. light a match. <laughs> <laughs> So good, so good. Yeah. Is the camera on? <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> you should pretend like you don't know the camera's on. You should start the interview with your camera off and tell them that your camera's broken but you can do audio accidentally click the camera but they think it accidentally kicks on right and you're taking a shit yeah. <laughs> you should be right you what you should be is in the bathroom like that <laughs> when the camera kicks on, you should have a big thing of lotion like this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, my, my, stuff, my stuff hurts so bad right now. <laughs> hey, they said it's all things. <laughs> it's all the things oh. <laughs> my goodness oh man oh. this <laughs> this is the greatest podcast ever <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh my Ooh. god dude it's so funny hold, hold my hold my kleenex <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's so good <laughs> So good. So oh. crazy, man. Well, boys, I don't, I don't think we're going to get any better than that. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Hey, Dirty Knobs. We're asking you, uh, our friends, to make a donation on behalf of John Cruz to the Davis Finney Foundation. And that can be done at davisfinneyfoundation.org. That's D-A-V-I-S-P-H-I-N-N-E-Y foundation.org. Listen, your uh, your gift makes a difference. To, and together, we're helping people live better and building healthier Parkinson's communities. So listen, on behalf of John Cruz and the three of us here at the Dirty Knobs, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, you bunch of dirty knobs. So please do that. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Comment if you have anything to say. We'd love to hear it. 
And uh, we will be back out here in two weeks with another one. And thanks to our sponsors. Speaking of which, we are going to read some commercials to you now. Thanks for uh, showing our sponsors the love because they're showing it to us. Thanks again. And uh, we'll catch up to you soon. And then sing it out right now. All right. <laughs> Coming live and direct from the Colt Clubhouse in Santa Ana, California. Come on down and get all your BMX needs. We're giving away free air for your tires. <laughs> That's all I got, brother. That's great. That's great. All right. It's no. perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> Kenda, designed for your journey on the road, on the trail, or on the racetrack, you can count on Kenda quality. Our tires are engineered for performance and value across a wide range of interests and applications. See why Kenda is the right choice. It's your move. Imagine how bikes can lead to a healthier, more connected world. Bikes set us apart, free to explore and move, and experience our relationships with people and places like nothing else can. At Saris, we don't just imagine a more bikeable world. We're all in, making it happen. As our Sun Tour shares your passion of cycling, we are committed to giving you the highest level of service in the industry, along with products that hopefully will exceed your expectations. Serving riders is the cornerstone of our business. And we pride ourselves in doing it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Velocity Bike Park is the premier bike park for riders in Southern California. With 25 miles of world-class trails, obstacles, flow track, and races for mountain biking, gravel, and BMX. Ultramax 3D goggles. You're not going faster, but it'll look like it to you. Not available where cameras and knives are sold. But you can get your Ultramax t-shirt at DirtyKnobs.com. Hi, everybody. Toby Henderson, founder of Box, co-founder of American BMX Companies, the owner of Race Inc., Botima, and Cook Brothers Racing. We brought these two companies together to bring you the best quality product you can get for a BMX bike. We're all about the rider, so please check out our Level Up and Rider First programs. See you at the track. ODI Grips, the world leader in grip technology, home of the lock-on grip system. Check them out over at www.odigrips.com. 4416 Designs commercial, take one. There you go. <laughs> All right, 4416 Designs. We make shirts, but we don't sell them. Uh, we're just giving back to the sport. If you're out at Ukaipa BMX and you need a shirt, Hit me up. I'll hook you up with one. Yeah, I love that. Mega Design Group is a full-service marketing firm. They handle everything from logos to advertising to packaging. Having over 25 years' experience in the print and marketing fields, they can handle any hurdle. Check it out at megadesigngroup.com. Carbone Cartel, for the finest carbon BMX racing products in the market. Make sure you check us out at CarboneCartelBMX.com. Our products are ridden by the best in the sport. Drew Polk, Nick Long, and many, many more. This isn't the cheap shit you get from Ali Bobbitt. Make sure you check us out again at CarboneCartelBMX.com. Cool Stop Brake Pads. High-performance bicycle brake pads since 1977. Check them out at CoolStop.com. That's K O O L. STOP.com. Supercross BMX. What can we say? Our lives revolve around BMX. Founded in 1989 to build the ultimate BMX race frame, they've never strayed from that vision. 
Hey, for more details, check it out at supercrossbmx.com. Hey, everyone. This is Brian Wilson with ProGate. We are the official gate supplier for UCI and the Olympics. We even make a gate that you can practice on in your driveway at home. Wait a minute. Who else are you making a gate for? We're making a gate for Dirty Fest. You guys got to come and check it out. Whatever Dirty Fest needs for this track, we're going to supply it. We're not some French knockoff, you know. We're the gold standard in BMX gates. And make sure to check us out at progate.net and bmxtracksupply.com. And we'll see you at Dirty Fest for sure. Take care, everybody. Hey, folks, this is Mike Rodriguez, a.k.a. Mr. Crit. I've been racing and making number plates since 1980, you know, like when they used to do one-pedal starts. But, you know, Crit Blade has been around for 43 years. The last four decades, the who's who of BMX have raced a Crit number plate straight to the handlebars. And, you know, you get that guy, Mike Savage, the international man of BMX, still doing it strong. And, you know, back in the day, the plates used to be reversible because there was multiple sanctions. And you could put, you know, one sanction on one side, one on the other. Now, you just got one. But Crit is still reversible. And that logo is still on the back. For guys like Mike and your rad guys, you know, like Mike Miranda, who would turn those handlebars and twist them up. And we got it rad just for you. All right. Hey, where will we see those plates? Those plates you can see at every single bike shop that, that, that stocks BMX stuff in the USA and Canada. And where will you be at? Will you be at an event sometime soon? Damn, I'm sponsoring the Dirty Fest. And I can't wait to come out to Southern California and, and get dirty. Amy Grips, still made here in the USA, used by world champions like me, Tommy Brackens. If you want to know more about the best grips on earth, go to amy.com. If you have a Senna cycling helmet, you know what it's like to ride connected. Senna got their start in communications for the motorcycling industry, where they're now a leader. Senna brought their same tech that goes into those helmet-to-helmet -helmet motorcycle communication systems into cycling helmets. Senna bike helmets have an integrated microphone and two speakers hidden right into the shell. Senna helmets connect together on a mesh or Bluetooth network so you can talk to your friends while you ride without shouting over wind noise, even if you're not side by side. That is super cool, especially in the trails. Senna helmets also pair with smartphones so you can listen to your playlist without blocking out ambient noise and you can take phone calls and even hear turn by turn GPS directions. Ready? <laughs> and that's going in. Yeah. <laughs> We need a doing. All right. What's your nickname for, uh, for like from the mic? Do you have a no? You don't have. I don't really have a nickname. It's just Mike. Oh, just Mike on the mic. Pain in my ass. <laughs> she got one. That's getting edited. Yeah. <laughs> We're putting that in. Hi, I'm Mike Miller, author of Day One by Michael Miller. And a special offer going out. Anybody who buys the book between now and Dirty Fest, which is April 28th through 30th, I'm going to take all the money from the book and send it to the Davis Finney Foundation for those with Parkinson's. So get your copy on Amazon.com and we'll make a donation. Hey, what was the name of that book again? Day One by Mike, Michael Miller, which is me. I'm sorry. Hey, what was that name again? Day One by Michael Miller. Hey, support the podcasts that support us, our friends, uh, the fine folks over there at All Things BMX, which is our favorite Wednesday night live podcast, as you know. Uh, our buddies over there at Beer Budget BMX, uh, Big Bike BMX and BMX Weekly. Check them out, check them out, our friends. What's up, everybody? It's your friend Isaac from Big Bike BMX, and I've got a podcast with my best friend, 80s BMX, Craig. Yep, and guess what, you guys? If you have enjoyed your time here on the Dirty Knobs podcast, we'd love for you guys to come over and hang out with us at Big Bike BMX, where we've got all your old school legends and BMX from the past and today at Big Bike BMX, Isaac. Come check us out. We'd love the opportunity to win you over. And if not, hey, it's just another place to talk about BMX with your grimy friends. It's fun. Hey, Dale Holmes, I want to tell you something. One of my favorite podcasts that I never miss is BMX Weekly. Even though it has an accent, I still love it. 
<laughs> Cheers, Mike. You can get all the podcasts on bmxweekly.com. Old school, mid school, today's school. Check it out. Yeah, BMX Weekly. <laughs> hey, here we go. Hey, Beer Budget BMX, baby. Coming out. You live from the beer budget studios over here at the Hack Shack Quarantine. Oh man, we're coming in hotter than Satan's nutsack. Yeah, we are dirtier than an Alabama strip club where reclass pros go and get lap dances by their half sister. Yeah, the only show that'll make you second guess your life choices like an Amish on an e bike. Hey, if you guys enjoy what you just listened to, make sure you tune in every Wednesday night to the All Things BMX show, the only live streaming podcast show in the game right now even ask mike he's been on vicente has been on still waiting for that other guy to come on the show you can find us on youtube twitch and facebook and you can also find us at all things bmx show.com keep it dirty <laughs> Well, let me yeah. tell you what I'm working on. I'm working on the Dirty Fest rule book. Yeah, we got to put that on the site. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm uh, I just got went through the. So I took an old EAB, the old, the ABA one, and I just copied everything. And then I went back and just started deleting everything. And I'm changing the words to stuff. And there's going to be some stuff in there. If you read closely, you're going to start cracking up. I, oh I'm throwing God. some zingers in there. Yeah. For example, cruiser class doesn't matter. Cruisers don't count. <laughs> according, <laughs> according to Eddie King, cruiser don't count. That's in the rule book. That's in the rule book. That's in the rule it's, book. It should say just that. According That's what to it Eddie says. King. Rule number one under cruiser category. Rule number one. Keep in mind, according to Eddie King, cruisers don't count. Did you learn that in your uh, track operator uh, meeting? You did. Well, boys, it is. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Oh, it is. It is one. Yes. Yeah. And you you know what? Anna Maria here in lovely Sequakis. Unbelievable. They are open until three. And guess who's going to place an order right now? You are. That's friggin' crazy. That is crazy. You're getting one right now. Yep. They are open until three. Hey, what's the matter for you? Hey. (laughs) Hey.